Have you ever had your computer freeze or crash, and after restarting, some of your files won't open or are corrupted? This is the kind of event that can ruin your day or even your year, especially if you lose a lot of work or files that were for a client. If any of this sounds familiar to you, stay tuned because this tutorial may help you save your assets. So here's my story. I was working on a video course. I recorded about four hours of footage and I spent a couple of days editing the footage in Premiere Pro. My computer's been having an issue where it keeps freezing randomly. I've read online that this is a common issue for Premiere Pro, but I don't know for certain that it's the cause. Normally when my computer freezes, I have to hard restart and I end up losing some edits. Because of this, I've made a habit of saving often and I also use an autosave feature every few minutes so I don't lose much. Still, it's annoying. At one point, the freezing and restarting ended up getting my computer stuck in an endless blue screen of death. I spent several days trying to fix the problem, but ultimately I had to reset my Windows installation and reinstall all of my applications. Luckily, I didn't lose any of my data because I only keep Windows and applications on my operating system drive. After a month or so of somewhat smooth sailing, I was still getting occasional freezes in Premiere Pro, but no blue screen of death when I restarted. However, one day after a freeze and a restart, one of my work in progress folders would not open. It gave me a message saying that the folder had been corrupted, and guess which folder that was? It was the one I was working with that I had about four hours of recordings and a couple of days worth of editing in. Not good. Believe it or not, I had a similar experience in December where I lost some data from a long recording project, but somehow I didn't learn my lesson and my files were not backed up. Nevertheless, I didn't panic and I decided to try to recover the data. After all, unless the data is overwritten on the drive, technically you can still recover it intact. First I ran a standard Windows 10 disk repair on the affected drive. That unlocked the project folder and I was now able to open it, but one third of the project was missing. An entire folder and the one I had spent the most time editing. Go figure. I decided to try an application I had used in the past called Recova. It's free to use and it's one of the best file recovery software applications around. Most are not free. After doing a quick scan of my corrupted drive, I was able to find my missing video files and Premiere Pro project files. They were in an orphan directory, and all I had to do was save them to a different drive. It only took me a few seconds. Let me stress that it was a different drive. Do not save your recovered files to the drive you recovered them from. Doing so could alter the drive and make it impossible to recover the data because it was overwritten. In fact, if you have a drive fail like this, try not to do anything with it except scan it for recovery options. I should mention that Recover Pro is only $20 or so, and it includes an option to create an image or clone of your drive before you attempt recovery. This way you have a backup in case something goes wrong and you accidentally overwrite the data on the drive. I was so happy to get my files back, I bought the Pro version in case I need it in the future. And just for the record, this video is not sponsored by Recover, I just like their software. I previewed the video files and the Premiere Pro projects and everything was exactly as I left it before the drive got corrupted. I got lucky this time, and you might get lucky as well, but don't get cocky. It's not uncommon to recover files that are unusable. Always back up your work. I immediately backed up the recovered files onto a USB drive along with the rest of the project, and as I worked to complete the video course, I made damn sure to back up each time I did a round of edits. Hopefully this time I've learned my lesson and I'll back up more often. Anyways, I hope this tutorial will someday save your ass ets. If you found this information helpful, take a quick second to like this video. And if you're new to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. I have a lot more digital art and design related videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.